Hello everyone, just thought I'd uh, give you a quick update. Um, we've, uh, we've now had our keys for our, um, our forever, forever home. Um, chuffed a bit, just got to arrange for our um, stuff to come out of storage. And um, I think we'll be um, spot on. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful place. Um, it suits us. Uh, it's it's uh, it's in the countryside, backs onto the main. Um, yeah, I will. Um, I'll give you a little walk around in a second. But um, our place in charge is still um, still being um, renovated. Um, but we're going to get there. This is very peaceful. Uh, as you, you may be able to see behind me is the Mayenne, the Mayenne River. But uh, I'll give you more of a panoramic view um, as I move on. This is only a quick, quick video anyway. Uh, we've just got to get our, our um, stuff out of storage. I've moved some stuff from our current accommodation already today. Um, so what a beautiful, beautiful day. Anyway, here's a quick look round as you walk into the gates. So this is the road that leads into our new property, our forever home in inverted commas. I, I do that because uh, my wife tends to, and I tend to uh, leave every five years to, or change properties every five years. So this is the gate into the orchard and uh, down there is an old shelter for, used to be a couple of donkeys and that leads down, that little path leads down to the main. Uh, to the right there is the orchard and and this is the jeet you you're uh, you get to the jeet straight away and um you just walk around or the the driveway goes around little carport there and a place to store your bicycles A uh, little barrow there has got, uh, it's like a little herb garden. I'll just skip forward, come to the good bits in a minute. I say good bits, everything's good. So you come round to the drive, or come round the driveway. That little building there right in front is the older bread oven. And I suppose you call it bakery, really. And it's still usable. Uh, uh, this is the jeep, the back of the jeep. That's all going to be cleaned up and tidied up because we don't want ivy anywhere. Because it's uh, it's it wrecks buildings. So this is the jeep. It's a two stroke three bedroom. I'm not gonna take you inside for the simple reason it's empty. I'd like to show you it when I'm ready to show you it because we're gonna market it and uh, hopefully rent it out throughout the summer. It's a beautiful building. So, so there you go, little teaser. I'll put a vid up when we put some furniture in and put a lick of paint in. So there's the front of our new house. And then the, the orchard. Walk round. It must be 15 degrees. It's absolutely Scorchio.
Oh, I forgot to point out. This here he's been using as a greenhouse stroke storage facility for his tractor. We've got to get a tractor. Anyone knows? Anyone that's got a grass cutting tractor, let me know. That window is the door to the sauna room. Yes, you heard me right, sauna room. This is the door to the cellar. Back of the house. And behind the bread oven. There you go. It's there, still functioning. Well, it has been, then a pergola, and that gets covered in kiwi fruit. At the, uh, in, in the fall, I believe, to our American friends. Here we go. In the distance, you'll see the, well, it's not too far, you'll see the Mayan River. And in the foreground, you'll see this is a, um, a natural filtered pond that is swimmable. And uh, it goes through a pump system. And only the other week, uh, the, the seller's son uh, was swimming in it after his run. So in the summer, that'd be fantastic. And it is, it is very clear. And then you see in the distance, the main river. There's the old donkey shed there. Looking up, there's the orchard, mainly apples and pears. So some cider making will be on the cards. And then looking back onto the house, or yeah, up to the house, because it's quite an incline. There you have it. Them slats on the upper floor is, um, is it helps in the summer apparently because the sun it um it cools the place down And this is a lovely place to be. Absolutely fantastic. Comes with an awning as well. Inside, this is the main living area. It's quite uh, quite large, actually. TV point. All rendered lovely here. And okay, it's it's not a very big kitchen. We've got a few design. Uh, um, propositions that were mulling around in our heads. Um, worktop is granite. Um, yeah, it's a compact and bijou kitchen. It, it works. We'll change the oven. Um, hob is okay for th it's three. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Got a dishwasher there. Yeah. 
and then into it's like a little cloak room I suppose and then you've got the lavatory lavatory a little sink it's nice it's nice upstairs under eaves but not too bad so nice little V looks there landings quite large actually for for this type of house I suppose and then bathroom yes that's me put on a bit of poundage actually bath Okay, it's a bathroom. It's okay. Again, we will change it when we have time to our liking. And then the main bedroom. Under it. But, um, yeah, built in wardrobe. It's all right. It's big enough. Big enough for the two of us. These are all cupboards that were left. So, and again, have a look at that. What's not to like? Built-in cupboards, very nice. That'll do for now. Right, the other two bedrooms aren't exactly big, but we're gonna knock through this cupboard to there. So it'll give it a couple more feet. Um, but there's plenty of storage space. It's actually a nice little room. It's a double, you can get a double bed in here because we've measured. It's not too bad. And then it's basically a mirror image on the other side. Again, we'll knock through to there. So we'll effectively take, take, take this off. So all that. Make it larger. And then that'll be good. Yep. Oh, forgot about the upstairs loo. Can't forget the loo. There you go. Compact and bijou with an external light because we know how foggy loos get don't we, gentlemen? Right, let's go down to the ground floor. Right. Hope you can see here. So this, they used as a library before, but it's a good space. So I'm thinking we may store it. Well, I'm using it as a store for our sports equipment at the moment, but we could use it as an office. It's, um, it could very well be used as an office. I'm trying to put the light on. I don't know how to put this light on. Oh. oh, I might have got something wrong here.
Okay, well, we'll figure that out later. So, yes, so office, um, sports room, possibly. Open the door, and it leads to the engineering hub of the building. So, that's the engineering hub of the building. Don't ask me what anything is at the moment, I'm still researching. We know what that is, it's a ballon. And then you've got an expansion tank. Uh, yeah. So, so this is effectively a downstairs kitchen. Um, oh, there's the pump for the, um, I believe that's the pump for the, uh, for the pump, I believe. Oh no, it's not. It's a pump from the well, because down here they have water pumped from the well to use in the in this downstairs kitchen. So this is the cellar. Oh, do I have a light? Yeah. So cellar. It's what it's meant to be. It's a pounded earth cellar as. As you have in France, so all of our champagnes and bottles of wine will be stored in here. So that's easy. And here we go. Uh, this is a door to the outside, uh, just behind. The bread oven, mm -hmm. and here you have a shower. Okay, it's a basic shower. It can be it can be modernised, which I'm very inclined to do. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a sauna. And I can't wait to get my soggy ass in here because I need a detox and saunas are good for clearing the pores. God knows how much juice it's going to take off the grid, but you know, hey, we'll just find out sooner rather than later. So you come out of the sauna and you have a dive in the shower, cool off and then you back in again. So this room here, I'm thinking it could be my new vlogging room because I'm not very, I haven't got enough space where I am. I'm in a jeep at the moment. So this could be my new vlogging room. What do you think? I'm thinking it's big enough. I could just partition maybe a bit. My office, I think. Needs a lick of paint. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That'll be great. Jump out of the sauna into the seat for a vlog. <laughs> anyway, that concludes my tour. Um, hope you like. Subscribe if you want to follow my antics. Um, I'm, I'm still a beginner. I haven't had time to do anything as of late. But um, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get a new camera soon. And um, because this one, I'm finding it difficult to, um, to vlog and control it. Mind you, I haven't spent enough time on it, really. Um, so, if you like it, give us a, a like, a tick, subscribe. And uh, follow me. And if you want to see what happens to the G, you know, I'll be open to bookings, um, hopefully for the summer. Anyway, take care now. Bye.